noticed um i've changed my screen name to slim pickens from road to the real me because this was originally this is a originally my channel over my um vsg surgery that i have i was sleeved on november the 4th and i'm currently down mm, 89 pounds 478 prior to surgery 511 at my highest weight and today i am so happy to say i'm 400 or 389 so 389 um that's awesome i know i'm more than 120 pounds down from my highest weight i feel great and um i want to introduce more of what i absolutely love and i'm real passionate for which is reselling so thrifting picking reselling i have been doing it for about three years now <coughs> um and this would be this will be my first ebay vlog um ebay facebook marketplace i have some things on poshmark and mercari and um so if you want to check those out my ebay is zeke's closet deals um my um Mercari is the bougie boat that bougie boutique um and my uh, facebook is um or my facebook marketplace listings are there as well so um and poshmark is i think just maybe um i'm not sure um <laughs> i don't i haven't sold anything on poshmark uh, well, one thing, I take that back. And I've sold like two things on Mercari. So I'm real brand new with those. I am three years reseller on eBay. Um, and I actually walked away from it for a year um, to build, to begin to build a business that unfortunately the pandemic kind of crashed. So um, it's too, too early in the phases. But I got in the meantime, I got into, okay, um, here we are, you know, everybody's in between the, um, a lot of people are in between jobs or, you know, job, things are moving in jobs. And so what better way to make some income than to find something at thrift at a thrift store price or a yard, a garage sale price and flip it for profit. So I'm going to get right into it. I'm just going to show a few things that I got and I'm real excited for. If you want to stay tuned to the very end, I will post up sold comps on these things just to give you an idea of what i'm finding around um south central kentucky so um i have i've enjoyed watching a few different people um and that's i've watched a lot of harry tornado who doesn't know josh um who hasn't seen him he's a super successful picker and i really enjoy watching their channel um him and his wife Haley, and then um of course um the uh, Commonwealth Picker. I watch him quite a bit as well and really respect his content and the way that he's real direct and um, forward with it and um, just honest, you know. Um, I, don't, I feel like he's, I, I want to say when I think of Commonwealth Picker, he's got that, you know, he's got the businessman mentality for it. So it's awesome. Um, and, but yet yeah, it's really encouraging. And, you know, I've been more of a purchaser on eBay um since watching some of his content because he's always promoting you know those other stores and other you know um just different you know different things and so uh rally roots of course i've watched some of them uh they were my first my original inspiration and so super cool um and then um homeschool picker so she's just a couple hours away from me i love watching her stuff kayla is so funny on there and so um I was like, hey, you know what? That just kind of hit close to home. Da -da and so I was like, hey, she can do it. I can do it. <laughs> so anyways, here we go. Um, this is the first really cool funky find that I have found. Um, and it was, it's an Elvis binder, right? It's like, a, I guess, a, a photo album. Or, you know, they actually have some original Elvis. They have some, they have some trading cards. Um, 
their non-sport, under non-sport trading cards. Lots of people have some really good listings going for some really reasonable prices on eBay. But I thought, how cool if you had like memorabilia cards and you could put it in your own binder. Somebody's made, handmade this, it looks like. Um, the I know the inside of just the this um, material, like to find this material, I thought I was gonna say it said a, a certain date on the material maybe. Um, but it just says EPE, Reg, US, Pat, and TM off. Yeah, whatever that means. I don't know. But where do you find, I mean, material that has all these pictures, you know, and the colors? I'm like, somebody would absolutely love this. So, <clears throat> I have this on my, of course, my Ziggs Closet Deals uh, eBay store. And... You know, just kind of going with, there's nothing like it. Nothing I found just like it. So I've kind of had to take a random price of what I would like out of it. But I definitely have a floor price. Um, and I've just, you know, I've kind of, I'm kind of moving it down. So <laughs> as we go, I mean, you can't go up, but you can go down. Um, so I did start it at a price that, you know, I thought it could go up the shelves for that. But Anyways, next item is, I thought, oh my gosh, when I saw these, I picked them up. They were quality, right? I've had really good luck with selling shoes. And I've, if they don't go on, you know, if I sell them on eBay, I've sold shoes real frequently lately. I have almost 300 items um, on my store. And so, um, I'm a smaller store, but I've, shoes are just, they're so easy, you know? And so I do, and I, and I really enjoy reselling shoes, and it might even become more of a, like a specialty thing. Um, and if you're if you're into clothing, hold up, I've got to show you this. Um, I'll show you Reba here in a minute. I call my mannequin; her name is Reba. But some shoes that Reba could rock, okay? Only Reba. These guys, they are size 13. You could you could really whop somebody with these things. Um, size 13. Look at these stilettos, man. They should have a door opening right here to shove your money in. I don't know, maybe a switchblade. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm just like, dang. And when you pick them up, I mean, they're heavy. They're kind of heavy. I mean, not, not to the point you'd have any struggle, like lifting your, I guess like whatever, but people, I feel like you have to have, you need a nine year training to wear something like this. I mean, comment down below if you can rock a pair of heels, like, tell me how long it took you. How long did it take you to learn how to walk in heels like this? Because <laughs> I'm feeling like, man, this is, these are crazy, right? Look at those bad boys. I mean, that could, I feel like that's something you keep next to the baseball bat in the front door. <laughs> but, uh, okay, moving on. So, next we also have, you guys, come here, Teddy. My dog just wants, he's just dying to be in the video, right? He's a good boy. He is a, um, he is a mix of a American Bulldog and Lab. And he's really smart, but he's dying to sniff everything I, I show you guys. Um, next, I have a pair of these boots. These are Bruno Valenti, Bruno Valenti boots. And um, comps on these are around $45. Um, and so just depending on what type of boot. Now these, I didn't find anything just like them, of course, but, um, they have the front, this fringe and how cute is that? You know, like I used to have, a, like have purses that had the fringe. So every time I turned it was like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I guess that's, is that like the makeup for girls that have short hair? They want to flip flop their, <laughs> flop your, I whip my tassels back and forth. I whip my fringe back and forth. Okay. Anyway. Um, so yeah, they have these cute little movable, um, anyways, these move, but, um, fringe. And so I've posted them and anytime you guys, anytime you're posting something on eBay, like this, for instance, has a minor, one of these, um, one of the, okay, this one right here, this tassel, you probably can't even see it, but this tassel has like a minor, it's one of them short. So it's whether it got cut off, ripped off, what, I don't know. But just take another detailed picture and put in the description, you know, be honest and put, you know, see, please see pics and put it first so that if you get a dot, dot, dot after your description, it's easy to, you know, they kind of 
catch that first. And I would say in the first three pictures, you should include the fact that that one, um, that there's a, you know, a minor, uh, a minor flaw, you know, um, just to have it up front and, and buyers feel like you're honest, you know, they don't have a problem. There's not an issue if there's a flaw, it's not going to kill your sell rate. Of course, it may take five to $10 off the price, but if you're honest and upfront, I remember the first thing I ever sold was a pair of Adidas uh, cleats. And they were like Adidas, I wanna say Adidas football cleats, but they had, or track, track cleats, sorry. They had metal spikes in them and I was missing two spikes when I got home and I'm like, oh man. I literally marked up the picture on the iPhone, I circled out, you know, and um, you know, circled it in red, posted the pictures. And because I was honest and upfront with it, they took them and I never had a, I never had a return, never had a, an issue. So super cool. Had good feedback from it. And um, feedback is the, obviously so important. But next up I have these Reebok Zig Kick Tahoe shoes. These are trail running shoes, you guys. And actually these were some that I, I got these off of a, a gentleman who said, every time I walk in these shoes, he's like, I walk in the house and People will say, man, you're getting dirt everywhere because it's carrying sod. Well, that's because these are meant to, if you're a hiker or you go on trails, these are meant to, you know, these are, these are meant to grab the earth, you know, you're, you're kicking back with these things. So they're a popular shoe. I'm sure if you know anything about Reebok, you know about these shoes. Um, these are, these in particular size 13. Um, and so I try to, everybody knows the bigger size, the bigger the size, the better. And black is so dressy, right? I mean, you can dress down with anything. Not only that though, but these are, um, these are fairly, I had a pair like these when I was younger and they're, they're pretty comfortable. Like they're pretty comfortable shoes. So, um, even the gentleman that had them, he was like, I wanted to, I really bought these thinking they'd be comfortable and I'd want to wear them. But, um, you know, it just, it would, he's like, it tracked in, you know, cause he, he mows yards and he's like, it tracked in stuff. So, um, but whoever, you know, if you're a hiker or runner, if you're a, 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 a trail runner, especially, um, these are an awesome, awesome pickup. Um, and so I have these listed, um, so stick, stick to the end and I'll post my listing, um, there to show you. Cause old comps with those. Um, okay, next I have another pair of boots. I guess I'm, I'm shoes, you know, just have, I think I have a dramatic, um, choice pick of shoes. I have another pair of size 13. Um, these are also size 13. Whoop, sorry, Megan. I have two dogs, you guys. My other one's now here wanting to be, you want to introduce yourself? Come on. It says, hi everybody, I'm Megan. Um, and so Megan is a pharaoh hound. Um, pit necks and yeah all right go on go on <laughs> get back <clears throat> okay yeah so the, <laughs> these are size 13 as well and these are um they have like the yeah the Chris I thought that was really cute the accent that kind of crisscrosses the belt um they're like a false suede I guess um and these are called they're ASOS so if anybody knows anything about, I, I don't know much at all about ASOS. Asus, is that what it's supposed to be, Asus? Um, somebody let me know in the comments below, what do you know about Asus shoes? Um, but these have, you know, their own cute little zippers that say YKK. They say YKK on the side and, you know, they're, um, so I feel like, yeah. And a lot of times, like, let's just be real. Coming from the VSG community, I mean, whenever um, you've got to say your feet swell or they got to get into a pair of boots, a lot of times you just don't have the size that you need because if you can't get wide, you kind of got to have to go about a size up and do thick socks. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'm the only one that's done that. I don't know. Let me know. Um, next pick I have, because I do have a lot of different kinds of items. It's not just shoes that I do. Shoes are my favorite. Um, and plus size clothes. That's just because, guys, I'm beginning to, to really lose weight. Coming from 511 pounds and being 390, uh, 389. I'm getting used to that. Um, today, I've got a lot of plus size clothes. And guys, plus size clothes, if you're a reseller and you've not tried to sell a plus size item, 
you're missing out, you know, because you're talking about maybe four viewers, four clicks, and one of the four usually purchases. So put reasonable prices on your stuff and post that bad boy because plus size girls, we can't find a lot of stuff that's going to actually fit, you know, and I know I personally like to shop online because when you go out to the stores, there's just not, I mean, go into Lane Bryant, go into Torrid. I have to drive a ways to get to those. And on top of that, when I get there, you know, talking about when we're talking about $50 for one article of clothing, why would I not buy it secondhand? If it's clean, the, pic, my, the pictures are presentable, I'm going for it. I've bought lots off of Poshmark um, and had bundle, set up bundle deals. And yeah. Um, so the, my next pick was this. This was picked up at a, um, an indoor yard sale is what they called it. It was like a inside of a, an old gas station building. And a guy's, once a month, a guy, this guy locally has this um, sale, has this garage sale. And um, he just sells like vintage items. Oh my God, you guys, I got this, that. I got 287 movies for $80 from him. Nuts. Um, of, <laughs> of DVDs. And so I have lots of DVD picks on my store as well. But um, <clears throat> I'll kind of show, I can show you a couple of those. I've got some VHS, lots of VHS listings. But I, I did pick this up too, um, just because I looked at some sold comps and it should be a, it should be around a $30, $35 bill. So this is um, a Samsung 3D uh, Blu-ray player. It is about, it's about 10 years old. So, and it's fully functional. What do you find that's 10 years old in electronics that's fully functional? That's awesome. So I did, um, I don't have the, the 3D TV to try this with, the fast speed HDMI. Um, my HDMI may be fast speed, I don't know. I have an HDMI plugged up to my TV, which is just a, a 4K um, 70 inch um, Vizio. So I didn't have the, I don't have the TV to actually um, pair this with to try the 3D function of the, of the Blu-ray. But um, DVD wise, all that stuff, I don't, unfortunately, I had a remote that the guy gave me with it, but it's an LG remote. So I plan on listing that separately um, to eBay, eBay, because when in doubt, my homeschool picker always says, when in doubt, part it out, right? Um, same with um, Bobo Buddies and um, Commonwealth Picker. So when in doubt, part it out. This one says, this is model number BDC8900. And yeah, Blu-ray disc player, um, but it is listed as well. So if you're ever out and about and you have a guy saying, hey, take that for five bucks, you know, take that for five, 10 bucks, look it up because it might be worth your purchase. This is the first item I have probably like this on my store, but um, fully functional and it has like, this has options on it too for, I guess it was like, a, you could go into like, go on a web browser and stuff and everything. Um, so it's, it makes a cute little noise when it turns on. It's kind of cool. So other than that, you guys, I have some of the VHS tapes that I got um, from the guy that I get them from. He had a lot of them that were um, still in the new in the wrapper um, or sealed, factory sealed, I should say. Um, Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> this is the PG version. So this was uh, in 1989, I want to say. Uh, release, but oh, dude, John Travolta, he the man. Okay, we got um, Johnny Handsome. Um, anyways, these movies that you just don't find anymore, and they let's be real, they don't make movies like they used to. I'm pretty young, but even I know my dad always. I grew up in a vintage lifestyle. My dad always told me the respect, you know, of these actors and these musicians that just you can't find like you used to. So, uh, comic relief. We got Whoopi Goldberg on there. Look at her. Look at her pointing herself. Um, and so, yeah. I've got, I haven't even been through these. This is, you guys are going through this with me. Blues Brothers 2000. And uh, so anyways, I'll have these up and listed real soon. I got, yeah, Mummy Returns set. Um, there's a Christopher Walken movie, horror movie uh, trio that I have a lot. He gave me some deals of uh, that are one, two, and three, 
right? That I'm just going to lock those together and um, sell them for the whole trilogy. So be on the lookout for that. Check it out. Um, and so stick around. I'm going to show comps right now. She fantastic with that beautiful, beautiful, fresh cut hair. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so this is what I found at a garage sale and I am in love with it. Look at these. Okay, so these buttons have little uh, diamonds. That one is missing, unfortunately. But this is an overlay. This is a 1960s um, vintage nightgown and it's all like I just did not there was one like this only that I found listed which they've come down on to $90 but anyways I'm looking to get around 40 I'm hoping around my, for mine but look how gorgeous this is you guys it's almost to the it's like floor length this is a size small but um yeah you all that like lacy beauty I've had a lot of people be interested and ask questions, but uh, check it out. Check it out. If I still have it posted, see what uh, see what I've got it going for. I'm hoping to get, like I said, about $40 out of this. Um, and, um, yeah. I was like, oh, I almost forgot.